Yeah. I can't believe you ever fucked with TikTok because I just feel like I'm too old for it. Like I don't have it on my phone at all. They, what TikTok. a lot of grown men say. Ask them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have that dancing yet. Are you yeah. a little TikToker? Are you? I'm like, man, I'll smack the shit. Out of you. <laughs> yeah. So what made you get on TikTok? Yeah. You didn't feel that way when you first downloaded the app. I don't like, give a shit what other people think. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to the X5 Podcast. If this is your first time tuning in to see us, we want you to like and subscribe. Full video available on YouTube, so go check that out. Definitely subscribe to the channel. We're hitting, what are we at, about 80K right now? 85. 85,000 subscribers. We're getting on up to 100,000 subscribers. Let me bring in everybody we have today, because... I'm going to go horse uh, announcing all these people. It's a room full of people. We got Officer Udi in here with us again today. Whee! He can't seem to get Hold out of applause. Cleveland, Alabama. He keeps making wrong turns. Hold the applause. <laughs> <laughs> Burt Wallace joins us. As, as, <clears throat> I'm back. Yes. No shirt, shirt Burt. Bert. No shirt, Burt. Jeff Allen and the Casio Kid co-hosting today. And then we have a, a suit in here today. We have a manager with us. <laughs> All these guys have a manager. Uh, Brent's joining us as well. Back from the Pocky Chip Challenge. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, like he boss. survived. Took it like a man. Like a boss. And another, we got another hillbilly in the house tonight. <laughs> it's, uh, I almost said moose. You it's goose. <laughs> <laughs> it's Built the order. same. Built the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our special guest today, Justin Danger. Please, everybody. Yeah! All right, Justin. Don't call him Moose. You know, Moose actually had big wieners. So that's why we call him Moose. <laughs> I heard you've been, by the way. Who was Did it that's been up all night shitting? Dude. <laughs> got, to be the, got to be the stupidest like, mother. I I, you did. It was supposed to have been a prank, but it didn't work out like that. Like, the x like prank? Uh, it, was, it was a lot. So, and what happened here? I don't know anything about this. Yeah. We were staged. Oh, no, go ahead, then. Let's set the scene for you. We we decided that it'd be good to fund some prank stuff, so we've been kind of staging some little pranks and stuff. Nothing serious. So we searched high and low yesterday for some chocolate X Lacks. So I didn't I'm, know they made it in chocolate. Yeah, it's they do. Delicious, it's the by best the way. time. Yeah, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's, a lot go, it's a lot funner going in your ass than it is coming ahead, out. Bitch, either way. So I do the video, and it's like I said, it's all stage. I put it in the cup, do the video, get the cure going, see the coffee go into it. All of these little things set it up to where he comes in. And I'm handing it to him and everything like that. Everything's fine. I go to him and I show him the video. You see this, right? You're okay with this. You see that I have put the X-Lax in the cup. I have poured the coffee. We understand that we don't need to touch this because you're going to really shit yourself if you don't. What does Meat Stick here do? That coffee cup set out for about six hours, and I guess he got a hair up his ass. and said, you know what? I'm just going to put more coffee on top of that coffee. And drink it, and I'll let you makes, go ahead. And, makes sense. I'll it? let you go ahead with makes the rest. No of Makes no sense. Not at all. None. Dude could shit through a screen door <laughs> right now. Like, no. <laughs> I'm bend now. over, bend over, and paint an entire UPS truck. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. I, and and the, the 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 panic part was I drank it, and then uh, went to the counter to pour the rest of it in the sink. And I thought I had another coffee cup when I poured it out. There was chunks of x lax in there. I'm like, Udi, you nasty bitch. Did you spit tobacco? That's not tobacco. That's x lax mm-hmm. Yeah. It, was deli- it really is good, though. It tastes like chocolate Hershey bar. You're not going to talk us into trying it. That's what you're trying <laughs> right. to do. It sounds like you're trying to convince somebody but yourself that yeah. it needs to be done. It was horrible. So, Justin, man, what you got going on, brother? What's happening? Just living the dream, snapping necks and cash and checks. You know? <laughs> I know one thing that I do got going is when I stay at the Airbnb with these guys, I do not. I keep my snacks and everything in my truck locked away. <laughs> right? Yeah. Probably smart. I'm, yeah. And a lock on your bedroom door, all kinds of shit. There is not locks on the doors. That's the scary part. That's it. true. Mm. There aren't any locks yeah. on any of those doors. Very frightening. Y'all been having a slumber party? We yeah. have for the last <laughs> since what Wednesday? We pick we we're all about water conservation, and we picked shower buddies last night when we all got in. 
I drew the I drew the short <laughs> stick, Udi. <Yeah. laughs> That's not a flex. I tell everybody four inches is hell at ninety miles an hour, man. <laughs> We played tummy sticks. You know, they guys <laughs> like you always say that it's not the you know it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. It takes a long goddamn time to get to China in a rowboat. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't never needed a spoon for a pudding cup. <laughs> How did you guys get to know each other? A uh, series page. of unfortunate events. Yeah, <laughs> I want to hear how y'all, how you even became friends. All right, Justin and I, like, I was uh, doing a, a comedy tour um, about a year and a half ago, um, and came. He uses the term comedy loosely, very loosely, <laughs> very loosely. <laughs> You're welcome. And then he is. <laughs> you mean a TED talk? <laughs> and then he he had just started out on social media, and he got pretty big very quick. Within the first month, he had got three million. Congratulations on taking you three years to get there. Thank uh, you. I did it mm. in thirty days. Listen, but, uh, listen. <laughs> but uh, so so he calls me up one day and he's he's super concerned because he's he's made some videos that people are coming for him and he was crying on the phone and he was like I really don't know crying. what to do Udi I'm scared I'm nervous and I was like brother just calm down haters mm. ain't shit bro it's just it's breathe. the first time you go through canceling you know this like you don't know what to do because you've got a million people coming at you at once and you're like man it's kind of overwhelming you know now I'm a pro at it I'm like yeah whatever we're doing this again you know. <laughs> <laughs> but so we we kind of linked up. He came out, did some shows. We actually hung out and stuff, and just found out he was a genuine human being, a good guy. Um, so like I said, I keep my circle close and small. But there's very few people that you can trust these days. Snakes ain't the only one slithering in the grass. Um, and then those two, I don't know how those two connected. I apologize, but I don't know. So he did the same. He was crying to me too. Oh, okay. Mm. I said it's all right. It's gonna be okay. And then, really? and then <laughs> I don't think that's. And then happen. Justin brought I got screenshots. That's Justin, what happened. Justin brought us two together because. Oh, last year he was telling everybody. Are we doing that, this now? Everybody that no, this? I think we need to air you know, it. Aaron, truth. You know what? You're right. I he, do owe you an apology. He, so go ahead. Justin brought Goose and I together because everybody that would fucking listen last year, he was telling that Udi ain't shit, this piece of shit. He ain't. And I Justin, didn't like him. Didn't mm. never met me. Never didn't met like the me. guy today in my life. Really? Room. And yeah. Justin's like, nah, bro. You need to meet Udi. He's he's chill. He's good people. He's stuff like that. And so, you know. Now they're getting an apartment well, together. Don't be so judgmental. I mean, I've admitted it thousands of times you, now. I was sorry. I've paid my dues. Let's move forward. He cost me a tattoo, buddy. Oh, your ass. He cost me a tattoo, buddy. <laughs> he did. You cost hey, me a because tattoo, Because the buddy. same, so the guy that did Goose's tattoo here, you know, reached out to him and said, hey, I'll fly you in and do a tattoo and everything. Well, the same guy was a big fan of Udi, and he had offered him the same thing. So after Goose got his tattoo, Goose ah, sat there in the, in the tattoo chair. You ain't special chair. no more. Let me know what I can talk. Goose, Goose just sat there in the tattoo chair for what I assume, you know, six hours, you know, just talking shit about Udi, right? <laughs> and after that tattoo. I got that ghosted. Tat- after that tattoo session, oh, that tattoo no. artist said, "Well, fuck Udi. I don't like him either." You know, so oh, no. Udi didn't get his tattoo. <laughs> this this is a real ass story too. So about three days ago, Udi calls me. I got a bone to pick with you. I was like, "What?" He said, "Yogi has unfollowed me, my tattoo artist." He said, "Were you down there talking shit?" I was like, "Yeah, probably." Honestly, get it on my face. Though. What are you doing? <laughs> I admitted I was wrong. I said, "Oh, sorry." Let it go, bro. You're milking but, it. But you just saw his online video and went, yeah, I don't like that guy. I really don't know. Uh, somebody, well, there if was, you'd like to blame it on somebody else now. I would, no, but no. I'm not going to do it on here. No, Justin was it. talking shit. <laughs> no, I'm just glad we could be y'all's therapy session. Y'all just get this out. Yeah, yeah, this is see. needed to be up. That's what we need. Yeah, I see. Hey, buy me a, I need like you to buy ba- me a drink first. This is, this is like the bachelorette reunion at the end where they all come in yeah. and air the grievances. This is it. But I swear to God, if you actually heard us when we're all together, you would just think that we genuinely hated one another because we've never had a kind word to say about anything. I mean, we roasted him today for $3 million for four minutes, and I'm pretty sure that we may get canceled for fat seconds. shaming yep. at some point. I was there. I saw I it. I didn't it was at all because I don't believe in fat shaming because that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've seen that. We've seen that. That's the way we were in the band. If you got a re- like a, an official compliment from somebody in the band, something's coming. Yeah. You know, like, um, yeah. guys, are y'all about to let me go? Is is that what the, that is that what's around the corner? Yeah, yeah. If you say something nice to me, I just assume you don't like me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you insincere prick. I've been in the I've been in the military for eighteen years. You know, don't say something nice to me. Just roast the hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call them like, "How's the wife? How's the kids? What the." Do you want Udi? Yeah. Like, don't start this shit. Yeah, I'm well, like, bro, I'm trying to find out how the family is doing. Right oh, f- them and f- you too is basically <laughs> how that goes. What do you want? 
<laughs> so Justin, I didn't ask. Can we cuss on here? Yeah, like, oh, do y'all yeah. normally no. cuss? Yeah. Yeah. The first oh, two yeah. minutes, they'll cut okay. it out. I hope so. <laughs> All right, well, they'll believe too, it. Too late now. <laughs> we actually, actually, it's too late. We actually stream this on the West Baptist, uh, Westboro Damn. Baptist Church website. So, they're outside right now. Yeah, they're Pickett's outside line. picketing. With, that says, listen. <laughs> Those people, though, for real. Right? You know, I like. there's very few people that I would just come out. I don't think anybody would be mad at me. Every one hey, of those I know what you want. People. You want them protesting out front of your show. You know Bro, what? Let I them would, come protest. <laughs> that's cool with it. You've really done something when they come out exactly. front of your show. Exactly. Tom Segura said they came out in front of his. He was like, I made it. Yeah. I don't know what else I can do to show y'all. They did I'm that. Just, they did that at the Marilyn Manson concert back in Birmingham several years ago. Marilyn Manson came to Batwell Auditorium and they were out there picketing. And they're a bunch of loony tunes. Mm. Oh, Dave Grohl trolls them back. Pull up. Pull up Dave Grohl trolling a uh, Westboro Baptist. For the record, this is one of my favorite things on the face. You've seen it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. It's pretty good. <laughs> Dave, Dave Grohl does this better than any They, they go outside. If, I, what, I don't know. Were they outside his concert, or did he just find out they were protesting somewhere and show up? Uh, That part, I don't know. The top one's the one that I've seen. Yeah, this one. God, look at these signs. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Free will is satanic life. Is he on the back of a flatbed? I think I remember that. All right now. God hates pride. I mean, they just go. They're they're so out there with it. It's impressive. I got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? I love you. I do. The way I look at it. The music plays. I love everybody. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Can't you just love everybody? Because I think it's about love. That's what I think. I don't know how much money it costs in vehicles and time to actually do this. You shouldn't be hating. You know what y'all should be doing? You should be dancing. One, two, you know what to do, go! <laughs> That's the greatest shit ever. That That's chick so right there in the red looks like she wants to get it. So, you know? <laughs> she, like she's, she's there with the signs, but she don't look the part. No. She likes the Foo Fighters. She couldn't help herself. She had to dance. That was a yeah. friend of hers. If you ain't got nothing going on tomorrow, we're going to protest. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's called in sick. So uh, we got. If you want the spot, and sure, she's like, all right. Oh, you, sure you know what there? though? There's a lot to be said for those people. Like I kind of admire their persistence and not really caring what other people think. Like there's a lot to be said for that. Right. <laughs> when they were when they were uh, people protesting the LPGA. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy. There's a picture of it online somewhere. It's probably the biggest crowd the LPG ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you put a few more protesters in there, you know. <laughs> right. There's a guy holding up a, a sign that said, "Make me a sandwich, bitch." <laughs> Damn. It's real, in, a, in an ocean of those damn signs. Uh, I, I don't know where you can find it. <laughs> Is my name in your search engine? Is that what I just seen in there? Probably. Is that from to the toe clips? picture? Oh, that's Pornhub. Uh, Justin, let's talk about you since you are a guest of honor and now that we've all roasted each other. Uh, let's talk about how you got into this. You mentioned 18 years in the military. How do you transition into social media superstar? Uh, you're using the word superstar there very loosely. I did. I, lo I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. I don't know. I You know, I was, I was scrolling through TikTok one day, just downloaded it and I was scrolling through and I seen somebody telling a joke. Yeah, I've, I've told before I won't tell who it was, you know, because I'm friends with the guy now. Uh, but he had a very large following. Seen him telling a joke, and I was like, I can do that better than I did, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you made it by trolling uh, <laughs> somebody yeah, just basically talking shit. What I've done my entire life, you know. Right. I've I've often said, you know, I uh, I was pretty much like the class clown and and high school well all throughout school but i never was like the class clown that everybody loved you know i was always the most annoying person in a room until <laughs> i finally figured out what made others laugh and yeah. when i figured that out then you know how'd you figure out how to make money at social media like once you're popular what what popped off in your head and you're like how can i monetize this just good mentors mm -hmm. seriously like i i talked to everybody you know 
um, it, you pick everybody's brain, everybody's going to have, you know, good advice. Uh, you know, Udi, this guy right here, I mean, he, he don't know a whole lot, but there's some stuff I can learn from him. <laughs> yeah. But no, it, seriously, just talking to everybody, you know, learning from everybody's experiences. Yeah, other guys that do it. How long have you been doing it? Since 2020, I believe. Was it? I, I had another account other than the one that I have right now. So I've got two. Um, I've got a main account and then a backup account. Um, but I, I had another account that was at like 600,000 followers. And, I, you know, I had some success with it. But, you know, I hadn't really found that, you know, niche or whatever. And really being myself. It's weird how you can find a fine line where you can be yourself and post videos of what you're really thinking and not get taken down. Mm-hmm. That seems like a, a well, high had, wire to watch. Well, I walk had to figure things. that one out the hard way, you Didn't know, it? like a couple times. Because, I mean, you know, it's 2023, man. Comedy's subjective. It's, it's not a good time to be a comedian nowadays, you know, because people people don't know how to joke anymore. Everybody's so, you know, uptight and tense. and uh, Soft they, as they, baby shit. Yeah, they think everybody's, <laughs> you know. He's right. <laughs> they are. I mean, it, it's it's bad. And I, I've, I've often said, you know, people don't get comedy, but they do. They get comedy. They know that you're joking, but they, they still, you know, uh, for some people to be relevant online, they have to, you know, constantly bash on other people and take things out of context. And, you know, so that's what it is. I, I don't I don't give those people any time. It's an interesting dynamic with stand up. Um, there's still people that if they came to your show, they would be offended, mm-hmm. but they usually don't end up at your show because that's the point. They are there with a friend who knows the headliner or they they're a fan of the headliner so they know that person's comedy if you go to whoever it is you know that if you know seinfeld you know there's nothing going to be edgy and you can have fun and uh the deal if you go to you go to kramer's you know, episode there's gonna be something edgy <laughs> you know the two stark differences there you know like lord have mercy Damn. So yeah. did you start on TikTok? Did you start on Instagram? I started on TikTok. So the reason I ask that is, is like you're one of the few people that I've seen that you're over a million on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And from my understanding, especially talking to these two, that's per- Instagram's a tough one from what I'm from what I'm hearing. It is. It's very hard. So to have a million, that's pretty pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is it harder? Nobody's dialed into the algorithm or what? I think I I I don't know. You know, I don't really worry about all that. Uh, I've I've got my, the way I look at making content is you know a lot of people and we've all talked about this before a lot of people you know sit there and they worry about the algorithm while the algorithm's not being nice to me and everything like that and i put it all on myself i'm like if if i put out a video and it's not doing well you know i don't put that on you all the app you know the app screw me over no i I, the video just was shit i need to do better you know so that's that's a very uncommon trait to have like that's a lot, I, I hear people all the time, even bands that don't draw, they're like, you know, it's, I, I, I legit heard a, a, a band guy after having a bad night, nobody was at the show, he goes, you know, this this Alabama State Trooper Association Take Back Our Highways is really killing the attendance of the clubs. And I looked at him, I was like, I was just at a club down the street, it was packed. I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But to be self-aware and not ever blame the audience. Or the or the algorithm. Well, the algorithm is audience. If you put out a good video, people yeah. are going to fuck with that video, and the video is going to go viral. If you put out a shit video, people ain't going to fuck with it, and it ain't going to go viral. So you find TikToks. TikToks a better. It's a better platform for what you guys are doing. Uh, it's it's better for going viral. Yes, it's a better for getting a message out there. If you want to get it out there, one hundred percent. Every every platform has its you know its pros and its cons. I believe. Um, and you're reaching different audiences. I mean, there I can't tell you how many people, you know, that, you know, watch my stuff on Instagram that, you know, recognize me whenever we go out or whatever. And, I, you know, I always like to ask is, uh, you know, which out, which out you know me from? And, uh, you know, a lot of people are like Instagram. I'm like, oh, you follow me on TikTok? And they're like, I don't have TikTok. You know, so, I mean, there's still a lot of holdouts that's not on there. So, I, you know. And it's, it's just different crowds. I think you just hit way different demographics, especially with like Facebook. You, yeah. you, you post on Facebook, you're kind of, you're kind of, you know, trying to get to that older crowd, I guess you could say people. Mm-hmm. And I say older, you know, my age and older, right. you mm-hmm. know, yeah, yeah. you want to, you want to hit the, you know, uh, you know, 18. To I can't believe you ever 
with TikTok because I just feel like I'm too old for it. Like I don't have it on my phone at all. That's what TikTok. a lot of grown men say when you ask them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have that fucking dancing yet. Are you yeah. a little TikToker? Are you? I'm like, man, I'll smack the shit. Out of you. <laughs> yeah. So what made you get on TikTok? Yeah. You didn't feel that way when you first downloaded the app. I don't like, give a shit what other people think. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I, you know, if I, if, and I'll tell you, you know, there's, you know, across all platforms, I have probably what close to 11 million now and uh i'm i'm thankful for every one of them like legitimately mm-hmm. and i'm not even just saying that you know just to you know say something like I, i'm legitimately thankful for everybody that that fucks with me like that you know or anybody that comes up to me i went to a high school football game last night and um you know probably took like 50 selfies with people i'm legitimately thankful for every one of those people were you looking for pussy last night is that what you're doing no no <laughs> at high school come on now <laughs> Damn. At high that's school. the second one you shot at him like that. <laughs> <laughs> easy no my my nephew was actually you know uh, i came in a day early and i was supposed to come over and have dinner with y'all last night right and, um I got I got in last night and I talked to my dad while I was on the road and told him where I was going to and he hit me up once I got here and he said you know uh, Porter my my nephew he said he's playing like thirty minutes from you tonight for their first high school football game and I said man you know family's number one of course you know, if I if I can get over there and watch him play um, you know because it'd probably be the only game I get to watch him play this this God, year how hot was he. Huh? My God, I can't imagine playing the football. Oh, in that I heat. thought that was going. I thought that was going a whole other way. I said, bro, I'm like, bro, that's three comments about underage people. We gotta have a conversation. How hot was it? It. It. I'm waiting for Chris Hansen to walk in. God, <laughs> no, I, mean, I just can't imagine playing football in pads. There in the ain't heat no way, yesterday. bro. Yeah, we say that because we're older. We've just gotten soft, man. man you know, we so. did it. We did it back in the day. I don't. Well, I don't know if it was as hot, man. It's so. I tell you what. We're in Alabama, right? So mm-hmm. we all know, you know, we're in the deep south. Like it's so hot outside that I saw, I saw a meth head earlier putting a catalytic converter back on the car just so they, they get in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Got in my truck earlier and it's 102 degrees. It's hot, man. Yeah. You ought to see Goose. He turns into a just a wet it. spot when you take him outside. I ain't doing it. That's this ba- dude was he sweats like Reuben stuttered in the damn air conditioner. <laughs> I'm doing it. Dude, did he tell you about what a pussy he was being when he got to that big house by himself the other night? I don't even begin to describe it. I come over to, I come he's over, a scary dude, he is. man. He's scary. I came over to stay with him, and he's got every fucking light in the house on. He's like, I, this house is too big. It's scary here. I can't stay in here by myself. I'm going to a hotel. Somebody's got you. Got to come sleep in the bed with me. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what he said. Shut up! I called you and told you to come on, and you wouldn't do it. So I yeah. mean, I, I don't want to hear you. Because if you, you had jump home in my defense phone? protection with you, I, I know for a fact he does. Because let me tell you a story oh about God. this. So this is the second time we've told. We, uh, <laughs> you know, we we all we all come from you know military background, you know country boy background, whatever. We, we all believe in you know packing heat right when you're traveling you know because you know you never know nope. you know the only thing that stops a bad guy with guns a good guy with a gun right right so we're we're over at the house and and if you look on the on the shelves when you first walk in the door it's everybody's you know side piece there yep. we're not talking about women we're talking about <laughs> firearms <right? laughs> just for clarification just to, just to clarify crystal right um it was a so female he, yeah go ahead <laughs> <laughs> <You're> we're, <fucked. laughs> you, we're talking about you know our, our different firearms or whatever and he said Man, i just got this new uh this new laser on mine and everything and then we went through this whole conversation how he doesn't and i'm sorry to throw you business out here like this no, how he good. doesn't keep one in the pipe right, right? he doesn't keep the chimney hot you know and and me and him were kind of giving him shit like man what you know, know you have to use it we having to rack it and everything else right so then he hands it to me as he's saying yeah i don't never keep one in the chamber so me you know having the background that i do you know i'm going to check firearm because every firearm's loaded right he had one in the damn chamber it was ready to go <laughs> right yeah. it's a good thing and i never do that it's a good thing that I, I didn't try I to take a desk pop. Yeah, and the only reason I don't is because hey, I got a scare. I got the fucking dog shit scared out of me about three months ago. Uh, I was back in the field and I had my piece on. I come in and the kids and everybody was there, and I set it down probably about the height of that table, which was fucking stupid. I didn't even think about it. Went in the bathroom, did something, come back in and sit on the couch, and it's got one in the chamber. And my daughter, who's four, 
hands me my pistol. Hey, yo, why don't you take the gun from him? Don't I let him. We need to edit that part out. <laughs> yeah. You're going to take a lot of heat on that. Yeah, yeah. No, I talked about it. I mean, it's it's uh, it's happened to it's, numerous people. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, yeah. uh, uh, it's, take his gun away from so they real quick. protect himself <laughs> and his family. All, dude. all jokes aside, you can come for goose if you want to. But listen, let that be a, a firearm safety mm-hmm. education for yeah, you. Absolutely. Listen, two things should happen, and and I tell goose this story is like. I, law enforcement, my, my, most of my, since my kids were born, my daughter grew up around firearms. She, at three years old, she could take them, take my, my Glock apart, clean it, put it back together. Not everybody's like that. So at the end of the day, Goose, Goose learned a valuable lesson. Um, and it just be, don't, don't come from him. It's not, he, like, none of you fuck sticks have always fucked up something on, as being a parent. So it is what it is. If you hear right. this, if you hear this and you're fucking perfect, go kiss Jesus in the mouth. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> but like, just let it be a lesson. Like, firearm safety is tr- and true, but like listen don't be yeah it is what it is don't get no heat for you that for shit bro it happens to everybody oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with it i mean and that's it's a, that's a huge i mean and it like i said i was hard on myself for fucking two or three weeks like i mean it was and everybody's like oh why don't you oh you oh that's what happened okay so mm-hmm. what like, you got left on your bucket list to do that you hadn't done you've had a pretty crazy life the military and now a TikTok star, which you never thought you'd say you were. Although, I mean, no, I've got. Look, I, I ain't even started on my bucket list. Uh, no, really? yet to come. Yeah, yeah. What, what's on it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't but it hasn't people, started yet. I, 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 I'm a firm believer. Don't tell everybody your plans, right? You right. know, because people try to sabotage them. That's mm-hmm. true. So, where did listen come from? Just the starting was, out. With I, I, so when I first started doing the fun facts. Um, it, it was just kind of an evolution because if you watch some of my older videos, which they're not there anymore because that old account got taken down, um, <laughs> it, it was just an evolution. And I've looked back and watched them of how I how it kind of came to be, um, and you know, and instead of saying like now you do, I would I would always say that's something I learned today, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it didn't start out as listen; it just kind of happened, you know. Yeah, that's that. I, I always wonder how that just sparks and like, hey, that's working for me. Well, it's like a lot of videos that I do. You know, I never, I never use a first take, and it, it's always like just a evolution of like the punchline and the joke, or you know, the way I say the fact or whatever. It's always, you know, hell. Sometimes it may take fifteen takes for me to get it to where I'm like, that's it. You know, so it's, and if you watch the first the first take of it, you're like, yeah, that video wouldn't do good. And then after about ten or fifteen takes, you're like, that's the one. That's it. And you come up with some pretty random facts. How do you find all that? <laughs> huh? How do you find all your facts? The secret of the trade. <laughs> no, okay. yeah. no, I, I guess I guess that makes sense. <laughs> He's not he, telling you. He bro. must be the secret. Snitch, you go ahead. Lying motherfucker. <laughs> go ahead. What you gonna say? I'm not gonna say. Y'all gonna keep your secret, bro. We've had this conversation. I'm gonna keep your secret. So there's there's <laughs> there's several different places that I get it from. I've I've used books before. I've got a couple a couple. Books. That's the rarest way, way to find facts <laughs> right. these days. Yeah, because ain't nobody else seeing those books. Ain't nobody right. reading no damn books, <laughs> right? That's the best place to get them from because <laughs> ain't nobody looking at books. So I've got a, I've got a couple books and everything, and I've got different places I go on the internet to pull facts from. This uh, man gets bricked true. up over facts, huh? I said you get bricked up over facts. Like, Udi, I got a hard on for this fact. Well, go on, fucking hell with it, <laughs> Anybody that doesn't know bricked up means a hard on. That's what he means. That's an erection yeah, just for all of our. <laughs> anyone who doesn't know so what We're that all means. on the same page. You got to explain what Yeah, this is. boomer expl- explanations that keep going on. I've <laughs> learned a lot here since yeah. I've been hanging out with him. He's taught me a lot of new words. Brent, how do you keep these three straight, man? It's a process. It, I'm sure it is. <laughs> you you've been at the house. I've been around it, man. Yeah. I don't I don't see how you control the situation. Sure. It's yes. insane. I want to know what a manager for these guys does. What, man, it, what, what do do? when they when they get out of control, he puts each one you of them find in their own facts. Room. I uh, I write their jokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, you write all of it. <laughs> There's the secret. There's the secret. Bro, right I'm there. telling you, he is. And I'm not even to jerk him off or anything. At least not right here. He's good. <laughs> at he's least a not. fucking he rock bricked star. up on the rack. Yeah, over bricked there. up on the yeah. 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 This, He this knows is, he's good. This is what generally happens. Us three talking, get nothing done. So if we want to get anything done, we just call him. Yeah, <laughs> Justin, will, him. Justin will be mid conversation, hang up, just call Brent. Fuck yeah, I'm, well, it happened yesterday. Yeah. In we the was, truck, I was bro. trying to have a serious conversation, <laughs> right? And these two, one of them would always keep interrupting. I was like, "Fuck it!" <laughs> so I just hung up and I called Brent and I said, "Dude, I need you to be the responsible party and lead this lead this conversation. Like, we got to figure something out real and quick." Brent's you know? sitting right next yeah. to me yeah. in the pickup, and my responder was, "I'm not involved in the bullshit. I'm just." a bystander <laughs> <laughs> no brent so uh 
how Brent got mixed up with us is his wife is the marketing director of Bristol Motor Speedway. She works for SMI, which is Speedway Motorsports, yeah. right? Um, awesome, awesome company, and they've been very good to me. And uh, so Carissa reached out to me last year for the uh, spring dirt race at Bristol, mm-hmm. NASCAR race. And said, "Hey, would you like to come out?" So, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm that's, out that's on the some, pits and stuff. That's some redneck shit. Like yeah. I grew up watching NASCAR. Love it's it. Christmas like, time. Let's do this. You know? <laughs> and uh, so she, Carissa hired him and her dad to babysit us for the weekend to make sure we didn't get too out of control, right? Facts. And and me and me and Brent, uh, we we really hit it off and everything. And I, you know, I was still kind of you know on that you know trajectory pretty big yeah. climb, you know. Yeah. And, and we was talking one day on the phone. I said, now I really got to find a manager, you know, somebody that can negotiate brand deals and stuff like that for me because I just don't have time to do it anymore. And, uh, and he never said, yeah, I, I would like to do this. But I, I, I said, once he told me with some, something came up in conversation about him, him working in, in corporate, you know, corporate America doing, you know, negotiating contracts and stuff like that. I was like, hey, would you? have you ever thought about maybe like working for somebody like me to negotiate brand deals? He's like, well, I was waiting for you to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, you should have just said something, Brent, you know? And, uh, and me and him's been together. Me and me and Brent are ride or die. You know, like yep. if I, if I'm there, Brent's there. And, uh, it's, uh, it's been a really good relationship. He's one, one of the most solid dudes you'll ever meet. It's funny because it took us almost a year for him to like get oh, so yeah. mad at me to where <laughs> he just pulls me on the carpet and chastises me but it happened earlier this year and it was awesome i was, <laughs> I was like there we go brent has got those video, balls working deal. full time boy you know and, and it was uh it was a misunderstanding but i was like brent really needs to get this out he really needs to yell at me so i'm yeah. just gonna sit here and take it <laughs> how many guys do you manage um i got five possibly seven after this weekend Oh wow! But these are the three main ones. Yeah, I just so watching these three and you like I was just like, man, he's he has a, his work cut out for him with these three. <laughs> you just got to let them wear the energy out. And well, they, they calm down. Well, in general, We're like children, I guess right. is what he just said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Well, All sugared up. Well, in general, he sees how we act and stuff. But if he actually calls us on the phone and he has serious, we 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 pipe down and we listen to him and we take it serious and and things like that. So we try to have a good time. We laugh and cut up. But at the end of the day, that's what made us where we are right now is being that person. Like if Brent came in and we're just all like, "Hey, how you doing? It's great. Yeah, Jesus is good." He'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like he would think something was wrong. But that's speaking just... of bricked up. Will you will you sp- uh, whisper into that? Yeah, that was some ASMR oh, video. ASMR. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> God, damn. Brent, Brent, I want who I've never asked you this, but which one of us is the hardest to like work with or talk to on the oh. phone or anything? Oh, put it out there on front. That's Let's me. go. No, That's go me. with it. Who cares? Oh, like hard, you mean to deal with, get a hold of, be more specific. Well, to I know the can. answer to this fucking question. He said, "Which one? Which one of them's the biggest douchebag?" <laughs> That's what he's asking. <laughs> he looks right at me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the high road. Uh, but Goose has gotten a lot better about answering his phone. He used to suck at it. Yep. Uh, Udi's on it. Justin's on it. Unless he's there at his day job. So Goose is what you're saying. He's gotten he's gotten a lot better. He's not wrong. He's right. Goose There's been a couple be times bad. when he'll I'll get a I'll get one of them text messages that's like, hey, quit fucking around. <laughs> like answer your fucking. You ain't signed this. You ain't done shit. Like. So the contract is says better communication with us. Well, since we're on the X five therapy session, tell yeah. him why you don't answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. What's some text messages say? What's the unread number on? Oh, I know. You should see Justin's. Two hundred and three. Well, Unbelievable. I'm fucking OCD. Two hundred and three. That's rookie numbers, dog. Exactly. <laughs> How do you sleep at night with two hundred three unread and messages? And, and that's the thing. People are like. Well, he don't answer his phone no more, bro. We don't He's stop. He's changed. We're busy. I mean, it ain't There's got nothing. No risk. Y'all built different. But I mean, you're busy on your phone. I, well, I know that's the fucking <laughs> shit part, though. Yeah, but but you got to think like that. That is our creative time, right? Yeah. If if you take if you take us out of that, mo- like my phone may ring and and we're like trying to be creative and and put something together that's, that's you know 
that's good. And then I stop and take a phone call for five minutes. I'm so ADD. I may not ever get back to that video. Oh, I'm yeah. And I that's, already know that. That's the worst feeling when you when you were crushing a video and that motherfucking phone yeah. rings. God, <laughs> bitch. You, I don't want it. But no, I'm a, I, when he showed me that yesterday, he had 200 text messages. I said, bro, my all my red receipts are on. So I want you to know that I opened that motherfucker and purposely did not respond. Okay. <laughs> I didn't you know that. what? That's actually, you're right. Yeah. I think I'm going to start uh, doing that. Like, and I know that, I know that there's like people that haven't decided to grow up that have Android so they can't see. Yeah. Uh, but in general, if you have an iPhone, which like most grown people do these days, thank you. Um, you see that it got read and you understand that you didn't get a reply back. So. I mean, there's a, us sitting in the same room. How many times are you bitching? I called him five times that he didn't answer. I mean, we don't answer each other's fucking phone calls. That's true. So it's not, we're, we're but we get it. Yeah, but exactly. we, we get it. We're like, oh, he'll call me back or he won't call me back because he has forgotten and I'll just hit him back tomorrow or something. Like this motherfucker, I was driving down here. Well, I got to be a motherfucker though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard I mean, one too. I mean, well, he Chris, means it affectionately. Yeah, Chris, right. Crystal is the mother of your children and I would assume that you're still clapping them cheeks. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but he no, called. I'm he, sorry, Crystal. He, he, Jesus he, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have anything to do with this. Just for the record, Crystal knows I ain't shit. That's fine. I know Chris. She knows I ain't Clapping shit. Clapping cheeks, really? <laughs> Crystal loves. I've never told you this, but Crystal loves Udi's content. Yeah. Like that is like one of the only. Say love skin. Oh that is, my god! That is one of the only people that Crystal will go to. Her, him and Ophelia, Mama Todd. Those yeah. are the only two people she will go to TikTok to watch. I'm gonna vomit. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> But no, he calls me when I'm driving down here. Why would you tell me that, yeah. man? Kiss my ass. There's, I love that that's, woman. That's no. one nothing, Mitch. All right. Anyways, I'm driving down here. I'm driving down here. Justin calls me. I'm talking about he calls me and I go to hit it. My phone. Down. I said, God, I call him right back. Get a text message. Who's this? Motherfucker, you know who this is. I call him again. Straight to voicemail. Question mark. Who's this? Justin, stop playing. Call him again. Question mark. No, for real. Did you hear the news? What fucking news, bro? That's <laughs> that. Did, that's that punishment. That's shit, that too. punishment. You'll shit call. I'll done. call Udi. All right, all right. Udi will call me. I'll be on the phone. I'll look down. I'm like, I'll call him right back. Five seconds later, I know the motherfucker's driving. I know he sees my call, but he ain't gonna answer that first fucking call because I didn't answer his shit's first fucking call. Mm-hmm. They don't give a damn what you're doing. They don't care. Y'all are the cutest couple I've ever seen. <laughs> right? They're so damn. romantic. Good lord, me and my wife could really be like more like this. <laughs> well, these guys are known for great reaction videos. Dustin, you have some stuff for us to watch today? Oh. Look yeah, at let's this. see what they got. United Airline pilot charged in bizarre axe attack. Now, this is what you want to see your pilot huh? doing. Can you scroll up here a little bit? <laughs> I am not mad about this. Oh, at no, all. he's taking it's the axe attack is on yep. on the parking uh yeah. arm. I've been there. Who's, 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 <laughs> you can't tell me at one point in your fucking life you have not wanted to do that. I just run through it. That I've always wanted to know where he got the fucking axe from, but that, other than that. That motherfucker has flown all day. He wants to go home and drink a beer, and yeah. that, that thing is not moving. He getting out Good luck. God, Dude, go he back like to Jose that. Jose Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's go. Is there a video Wait, of this? He's, no, you think okay. that's his truck behind it? Yeah, that's Bro, his truck. I get it. That's his truck. That, why does he go on the other side? Because he don't want to hit his truck when he leans it back. <laughs> he don't want to hit it on he the don't back swing. Hit the truck on the back swing. When I heard you first brought that up, I thought that said U.S. Go back up a little bit. U.S. Airlines pilot charged in bizarre sex attack. I was like, man, this is going to be a little weird. <laughs> no, that only happens on Spirit Airlines. That's fair enough. <laughs> you know. Says it caused seven hundred dollars in damage. He said, uh, uh, oh, oh. Get, it, baby. <laughs> "Get it, baby. Get it, boy. Oh, got, at it. Wait, he's coming through. Yeah, one hand in the pocket. Why well, well, didn't he have a truck, dog? dog? He's." You know what? He had this plan. Why the fuck he have an axe in the car? Uh. He's had enough of this shit. Hey, they had to clarify with hey, a full-size axe. That's too, your pilot right there. That's hey. your pilot. Yeah. You know what? It shows that he's resourceful and thinks outside the box. Yeah, I want that guy to be my pilot. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that it raises. Hey, imagine that truck Whoa. right there. He's like, all right, can I go now? Did you see <laughs> the slow <laughs> fall? <dude? laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> It's like cool guys walk away from explosions. Watch it, boom! And then fucking <laughs> Paul Blart's gonna take the fucking axe from him. What the hell is this? Oh, wow! Let me tell you oh, something. You fixing to spray? You fixing spray? You coworker and everybody? That's insane. Yeah, United Airlines not saying much about this guy except for go team go. 
Yeah, for nineteen dollars an hour, I am not disarming that man if I'm security and he has an axe. <laughs> well, you're being generous at nineteen dollars. Yeah, an hour. you think the guy making fourteen dollars yeah. an hour wants to go yank an axe yeah, out of that guy? Yeah. Y'all go get him. <laughs> nah, bitch, you go get him. I yeah. ain't fucking. You don't pay me enough. Yeah. <laughs> probably got truth be told, that feller probably he's a pilot. He probably ain't swung an axe much in his life. He's he's completely tired after after chopping that cross arm down he ain't he ain't putting up no fight look That's there's like still there's still a tag hanging from that axe <laughs> he yeah. never swung it that guy's a whole ass unit i'm i'm impressed there's a hundred percent guy sitting in that little toll booth right there laughing his the, ass off because the, you know what he's doing yeah. when he's walking there is no question of what he, he's not going to kill nobody or nothing he's coming for that fucking place. i can't imagine being in that truck i would form though it. i would have just thought it would have took less hits to make that happen my grandmother could swing one hundred. That, I was gonna say, he ain't swinging. As a, there's not pieces as or a, anything coming off there. Is that the axe is dull or he's just? I bet puss. it. I bet it's aluminum. It's one of those oh, aluminum oh. arms. Oh, it is. But as a content creator, I'm. I'll be mad. I'll, that person in that truck missed a great opportunity to go viral. <laughs> yeah, yes. yes. great. That's a lot of money, right? That's there. A lot of money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just let CCTV get all get all them views. Yeah, you could have got those. I wish the pilot would have stood there for just another couple of seconds and watch that just fall on him didn't you say you made a video that he sent you a, a message on not too long ago i did yeah you said you were saying something about you made a video and you got a text from him about it oh, uh, i'll get texts about it a lot yeah what a bit. <laughs> like pull it down yeah no not necessarily pull it down like what well, and that's a big thing about these three like i are these two I, I love like and i do a lot with him a lot with him and a couple other ones hey check this out too much or not enough which actually is kind of scary in the same point too like you got to have some good friends that'll be honest with you, and these. The problem these with Justin, are. it ain't his account, so he'll tell you the full <laughs> set. Even if he yeah, would put that no, shit no, on no, it. I wouldn't. I never would. No, because I'll look at it and be like, "Ooh, I don't think I would. I wouldn't make that joke." Oh, that's not true. Because I did that one. I sent him one. Yeah. I sent him one. He's like, "Bro, it's a good joke." He said, "But you're risking it. It's a good joke." He said, oh, "It's funny, but you're." And I'm like, "You're right. I probably I'll probably post that some bitch right." But like, now. <laughs> it's, the balls in your court is a good joke. I just wouldn't do it myself. <laughs> you know, which is basically me saying, "Yeah, don't post that, but dog. You know, yeah. it's not a good idea." That's no, a good. Friend. That's a good joke for someone else to make. Is what that's you, a good yeah. joke for somebody else to make. <laughs> yeah. Just let them let them down that hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you got to be real conscious about the stuff that you put out. Like you said, were you talking earlier about cancel culture? people no he's got kids well like that too i mean i get that too but i'm just saying you're you know talking about people getting trying to get your videos taken down and that whole like i hold back warriors. a lot i hold I'm back sure. a lot, oh, I'm a lot. Sure. Like I, well you've I, seen a lot so yeah. like you're, you're you've got a dark sense of humor but if I'm you sure. put me on stage i'm not holding back because i i do believe that's a safe zone I, it, yeah that and and the fact that um, I, I really do believe that comedians are the last line of defense for free speech, you know, so it goes a lot deeper than just making a joke because because free speech is under constant attack. Right. Um, and and if, if you can't make a joke about things, man, you can't really talk about a whole lot, you know, mm -hmm. either. So uh, is with it being the last line of defense, I, I think comedians should be left the hell alone to do their art. It amazes me that anybody going to see comedy could even get offended. Oh, like, Jesus. Oh isn't God. it crazy? It's insane. You People would think go anybody life. going to a show would be like, this is a zone where I, I'm not allowed to be offended because mm -hmm. they're just trying to make me laugh. That's mm -hmm. all it is. And if it doesn't land with me, maybe it lands with somebody else. But, you know, there should be an a, uh, an understood, unwritten rule when you walk in a room to do comedy that nobody can be offended. Well, even with making videos, like I, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, is that the 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 reason why all of us make the videos that we make is to you know people are people are going through it, man. Like people are having a rough time, and if you can take people out of those you know Thanks. shitty existences that they have or shitty situations that they have, you know, if I can take them out of that for fifteen seconds you know, my job's done. Right. But if I can make somebody laugh that wouldn't laugh throughout the day, my job is done. So I do not care if if 500 people get offended over a joke that I make so long as a 1,000 people laughed at it and it helped them through the day. I don't give a shit about those 500 people. Give you an example. Justin made a video. I don't remember what it was. Remember what the girl in the wheelchair says, what's one thing that I can't yeah. stand? Yeah. And he starts, a, he starts it off with up. Because she, she's in a wheelchair, she's like, "What's the one thing I can't do?" He goes, "Stand." No, yeah, she, she said, said, "What's the one thing that I can't stand?" Justin goes, "Up," 
And so I come, I, he his shit goes viral. I stitched off of his, and I was like, wow, you think you're going to get a standing ovation for talking to her? Like, you think she's just about to roll past that? And it was like the people, and there were people like, as a quadriplegic, as somebody in which I applaud this, this is beautiful. It's always the motherfuckers that ain't got nothing yeah. to do they ain't with no the skin joke, in the game. ain't got no skin in the game to be the ups. And I'm like, what you mad about? You see, they ain't mad. Like, and we even had people stitch our videos who were in which it was like, Plot it, love it, and stuff like that. But that's what he's again, as he stated, bro. I could care a fuck less about who's offended. It's those fifteen. And he says a thousand. I could care if twenty people reach that and say, you know what, my day sucked today, but because of you, I smile. I'm good. You get a lot of hate, like on Twitter specifically. You can go to somebody's account and go go to their replies, and you'll go, oh, it's all hate. Then I'm good. That's all they're there for. They're just so the good up. part about it is too, especially with our fucking crowds. You go through comments, like, there's going to be one or two motherfuckers that's pissed off about it. There's going to be 900 other motherfuckers that are like, why don't you lighten the fuck up? That's yeah. why I'm so, so aggravated that TikTok took away the pinned feature on yeah. comments. Because you could, if somebody said something that was just so out of pocket, I ain't got to say a word about it. Pin it to the top and let the comment section and they deal with it. And they destroy them. Yeah. And I it still is do it great, on Instagram. I, we just sit back and I just smile. Like, you fucking started this, pal. If you I don't come at Taco Bell and fucking throw rocks at you while you're making fucking food. Get out of my face. You really want to know how people feel about you, just go to Reddit. No, Reddit will tell that, you all bro. kinds of shit about yourself that you didn't know Reddit. about your own self. I'm on three antidepressants because of Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> don't Google yourself. Not don't Google go to your Reddit. name, net worth, what people think about you. He's not lying. Like I watched this Fuck dude pull that. pills out today out of one of those little pill organizers that women you that old people they use. They are women, you? What was that? <laughs> Get that shit on camera. I want that snippet. <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit. You can go post it. Yeah, you you will tomorrow. Send it. <laughs> no, it, like it literally is the coolest. Women are on those pills because of us. There, I <laughs> saved myself. There we go. <laughs> We're good again. Ooh, Christopher's about to be upset, my boy. <laughs> I got sweat rolling down the crack of my ass right now. <laughs> <over that comment. laughs> All right, before we get out of here, the name of the game is social media. Drop those handles for everybody before we nah, get out of here. Just look me up. Just type in listen. You'll find me. <laughs> just type in listen. If you can't find us, if we're you doing something hey, wrong. You know what? If you ain't seen me by now, your for you page sucks. Yeah. Just delete your account. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag kids ain't shit. I'm there. <laughs> so, Cassio, don't you have a show coming up, too? Uh, if this will drop, yes, uh, September 9th at Stand Up Live in Huntsville. It might have already and happened I, by the time we came. Yeah, but I'm letting I'm letting this guy go in front of me for a oh, few you're minutes. Gonna, uh, David, you're actually going to get up and do it? Yeah, I'm going to go throw a bucket of ice on that crowd for him. <laughs> right? <laughs> Make sure they're nice and cold for him. set the bar there. real low for me yeah. to come out there and be like, I mean, that guy, right? So you do what are you going to do, five, what, ten? Oh, you're going to do ten? Yeah, oh, try, shit. Put your, by the way, nobody's told him he could do ten. He just <laughs> is trying to speak out of it. You know, ten, I put that out there. I did twelve the first time you let me get up yeah we shouldn't have yeah i know uh, we were giving you the light way before that <laughs> so we're gonna wait. five minutes buddy five minutes buddy. Five. tight five I, man five's fine with me it was a very loose 12 we need you to buy a tight five i'm just i'm not, i'm already nervous about being on the show i'm just my asshole's clenching up thinking about it you're headlining right cassio yes. is this your show yeah stand up live september what september night saturday night 8 45 late show so if y'all want to come see David uh, actually do stand up for the first time, y'all need to come to this show. Bring your tomatoes. <laughs> Bring yeah, your... Do it before I get off stage. Yeah. Get on stage. <laughs> hey, if you him. suck, just remember this, right? Always have a great beginning and a great ending, and put them as close to each other as humanly possible. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Dave. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us, man. This has been a blast. Uh, all of you hanging out and seeing y'all interact together and. You could tell y'all boys. Oh. Make sure that you go to our YouTube page at X5. And, and type in two girls, one cup. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to go film a reaction video watch, to that. <laughs> if you want to see their backup account, type in one guy, one jar. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Make great. sure you rate, view, and subscribe to the podcast and tell your friends about it. Please leave a comment. Which one of you, these guys are your favorite? We want to see. We want to ah. see this because we know that this is where it counts. You know, oh. I follow back just to let y'all know. <laughs> I don't. They don't. Yeah. Stay out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't see y'all next week. Take care. Yeah.